Hey guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reading you some terrifying two-sentence horror stories. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here, click the subscribe button down below and turn my post notifications so you never miss a video. I post every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We love spooky Sundays around here. And other than that, let's just get right on into the video. Our first story is by the user Taste of Hemlock. My son accidentally broke the arm off yet another action figure, so I told him, your toys can feel pain, so you've got to play gently. I thought the wide-eyed look he gave me showed understanding and remorse, until the next time I checked the toy bin and found every single one of his action figures had been pierced with nails and torn to pieces. That's like a serial killer in the making. I would watch out with that kid. I can't even imagine doing that though. Like, I feel so bad. I had these two, two like stuffed dolls. I'll, I'll probably insert a picture. They were the Hannahs. Love them. Still have them to this day in my closet currently. I feel so bad whenever I like dropped one of them. I'd even feel bad like if I kissed one of them more times than I kissed the other one. I couldn't imagine like sticking nails in my dolls. What do you mean? <laughs> Like I'm over here trying to give them equal kisses and you're just like tearing them limb from limb. Our next story is by the user Bruce Lee 23 My teenage boys resuscitated me after I drowned in a public pool. It's now been two years since I left the underworld and I don't want my poor darlings to find out that their mom is really dead and that I'm occupying her body. Okay. That's like if you guys have ever seen the show Lucifer. Like when someone dies and like one of the demons from the underworld can just like pop into their body the second they die frightening um but it, it's giving that at least it's like a nice demon though and like it wants the kids to still think it's their mom next story is by the user nornco81 as an atheist i watched as all hell broke loose 10 seconds before a voice told everyone that our own religion was the one true religion and we had to defend it that's really scary because like bro imagine that happened you know the whole voice telling everyone thing that's a little far-fetched but like if that happened like it would be world war three that's so frightening no thank you the next story is about the user expensive amoeba 3374 i sacrificed everything to get into a prestigious medical school because it was my long lost mother's dream for me to be a doctor so imagine my shock when she turned up there I kept it together okay when the surgical instructor pulled back the sheet and revealed her face but getting through the dissection was more of a struggle I'm sorry, there's no way that you could just like play it cool and pretend you don't recognize your mother on the table. That's like slightly giving psychopath. The next story is by the user Orion St. James. The old woman told me I died by drowning, so I spent my life avoiding water. As the doctor struggles to drain the fluid building in my lungs and the sensation of slow drowning overwhelms me, I suddenly wish I just enjoyed the beach before suffering the inevitable. I'm actually at a loss for words because there's so much happening in my head right now. Imagine like not living your life for years and years and years because you're afraid of like, you're trying to avoid this thing from happening and it happens anyway, just like, like magically, your lungs just manage to fill up with water anyway, <laughs> even though you've avoided every possible way you could drown. Also the drowning hits hard because I'm really frightened by that concept. The next story is by the user Casca in Red. As the villagers piled wood around the poor woman bound at the stake, one man cried out, if she be truly a bride of Satan, why does she not use her witchery to overwhelm us? As nervous murmurs of debate spread through the crowd, the convicted woman quietly said, oh, I was just waiting until all of you were in one place. Wow. Smart thinking on her part, I'd say. I mean, they, they were trying to kill her, so. The next story is by the user 1289 Boston. If you're trying to dispose of your wife's body, don't use a water tank in the attic. I can tell you, even after five years, you still have to strain out the lumps before making coffee. That's like actually so disturbing. My eyes just started watering a little bit. Um, it's it's giving Cecil Hotel. My like my eyes are legitimately watering at the thought. Wow, that is really gross. There's also the logistical error of like, why would you dispose it on your property? If someone finds it, like obviously it's connected back to you. I watch too much true crime. Those two sentences are just 
they really pack a punch there. 12 out of 10 for that one. The next story is by the user Throw Away Just Cuz. The astronauts could hardly contain their pride when in just a few hours they would have become the first humans to ever leave the solar system and enter interstellar space. In the cold vacuum of the outer solar system, their ship made not a sound as it crumpled against the invisible wall. Space is scary, man. This just sent me into like a brain spiral. So the thought of like just hitting a wall in the solar system makes me think of like the Truman Show, the movie. What if the whole universe that we know of, like like the solar system and all that stuff and, and all the galaxies that we like think we can see out there, what if all of that is just created by like giants and we're just like like the their entertainment what if the solar system is like just some little diagram in diagram is that the right word like some little setup in some guy's basement and that's all we are diorama i think that's the word diorama in some guy's basement my mind wandered with that one but i think like it's an option to look into our next story is by the user gary october when my wife and I got back from our trip to Disney World, we went through the pictures we took to decide which ones we should post to our MySpace page. After we looked through all the pictures, we realized our neighbor was in the background of every one of them. So your neighbor's your stalker? And still using MySpace? Our next story is by the user RosesOnFire888. When I die, bury me with my husband. He smiles and nods as he lowers my screaming husband into the coffin and buries him beneath the earth. That's like not even funny, but it's like, oh man. He took it like really literally. It's a little funny. Our final story of the video is by the user The Face in the Tree. Tonight is my wife and I's 13th anniversary, and I can't wait for our dinner date. But when I told this to my friend, all I got was a sympathetic smile and a little cup full of pills. That was the wrong one to end on. That one's really sad. He doesn't remember his wife's gone. That poor guy. Shout out to his friend though for sticking by his side. <laughs> That's the final story of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of all these stories. My personal favorite was definitely the water tank one. The fact that I my eyes started actually watering says a lot about that story. Um, so yeah, that was a good one. Anyway, if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here, click the subscribe button down below and turn my post notifications so you never miss a video. I post every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for Spooky Sundays. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.